9BOTZ10 battery activation and if you are tired of all the lies that Segway and 9 bot is saying about their products because this is a faulty one and I had to repair mine like you can see is working now I'm going to show you how to do it and how I have here another one from a friend of mine that also have purchased this online and it comes with the same problem Segway you should start to do your homework because this is not acceptable but if you want to repair yours and if you want to know a little bit more how to do it stay tuned after the intro Hi everyone, Marcus here from MedPack where we unpack your next product and hey if it's your first time here we only talk about technology, cool stuff and also electric skateboards so if you like this type of content consider subscribing. Like you can see the charger is green but it should be red because it's connected directly to the 9BOT C10 and like you can see nothing is happening, is not charging at all. So if you want to do this hack what do you need? So obviously you need your charger, the original one, you need some flexible cable of 0.5 millimeters and 3 amps, insulating tape, this this is the most important one you need a male xt60 cable and you are going to do this hack so like you can see the red cable is connected to the blue one that you have here and the black is connected to the brown so now let's try to connect this to the charger and don't forget the brown part here is my black cable and I want the double size of the cable exposed compared to the other side that is the red one what you are going to do you are going to fold the cable so it will be larger and it will be thicker because you have to put in the hole that stays far away from the cable and you are going to fit there and you don't want anything outside okay so you want the cable to stay in place and for that you are going to use some insulating tape and we are going to try to connect that and obviously you need to leave the central piece open and now we are going to connect the other one to the center and if you do the right size it's going to fit all inside but wrap the cable really really well so any parts comes out okay so you want the best connection as possible when you finish to insulate everything you should stay with something like this and no movement at all so the cable should stay in place all the time so what you have to do next you have to open the right side of your wheel to have access of the batteries and to connect directly the batteries to the hack that we've done before so let's take all the screws So like I'm showing right now to you guys, I have already disconnected the yellow cables, that is the connections to the battery. And like you can see, the battery have some indicators in red. So they are blinking in red, but they should be blinking in blue. So this means that your battery is too, too low. So if you open, if it doesn't charge, and if you check that the LEDs are just blinking in red, it's because the battery is too, too low and the BMS will not allow you to charge normally. So you have to do this hack. So now let's connect the cable that we made to charge this and let's hope that it will work. I'm sure that my friend will be very, very happy and I'm going to show you. So basically, if this works, the charger will have to change and it will have to blink between red and green quite quickly and in few seconds or in one minute maximum, it will stay red all the time. Okay, so let's try and see what it happens. So like you can see guys, it's charging. Until now, it's working as expected. Let's wait a little bit and see if it stays red. And like you can see now, it's completely red. So after less than one minute, it's now charging. Now let's wait 10 minutes maximum and after we change to the other one. So like I'm showing to you now, because it's connected directly and it's charging, the light is not blinking only in red, it's blinking red and blue in the same time next to the cable, next to the battery that you are charging. So right now I have already passed the 10 minutes that I charged the first one and I'm going to connect to the other one to charge the other battery for 10 minutes. It's normal that when you disconnect the cable, it will not be blinking in blue and red anymore. It will be doing that when you finish to charge completely the batteries, when you are going to charge normally. So let's connect to the other one and see if it charged normally and it starts blinking in blue and red. So like you can see, it's blinking red and green 
we have to wait some seconds and now it's charging like you can see it's just red let's wait now the 10 minutes when it's finished we connect once again the yellow cables and after we take this cable that we've done we connect normally and supposedly it will start charging 10 minutes have passed let's disconnect this one and now let's connect the yellow cables properly and there it is now it's connected so now the next step is obviously to take out this cable from the way so we can use the charger like you can see the charger is green let's connect it in the right place now it's much much slower than before like you can see it's blinking much much slower let's wait a little bit longer I don't know if you guys can hear but he's doing like a small noise every single time that the light is changing between green and red it seems that it's taking a little bit longer than mine I'm still waiting seven minutes have already passed and I'm still waiting and that's it so in this case it took basically almost eight minutes you can see now that the screen is charging so you see here the battery is charging so it seems that this wheel is coming to life like mine but now what you have to do you have to wait 12 hours until this battery is fully charged so the 12 hours have already passed and the 9 body 10 from my friend is completely charged but I have already turned on before I'm going to show you and that is something that is strange because in mine it works in a different way so if I press one time in mine it turns on but this one I have to stay pressing you see so now I have here mine and the one of my friend I have already connected to the phone and let's see if it changed something so if I press just one time in both they both connected um, let's call my friend he's quite scared that his wheel is not working so let's see what is his reaction okay so stay there and let's hear him are you hearing me yes i can hear you perfectly so this is my wheel okay and this is yours okay okay uh -huh. are you okay are you sit down <laughs> okay i don't care whatever happens we, we, we fix it together <laughs> okay so i'm going to press okay <laughs> it's working bro <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> you scared me. I, I told you guys I was going to do a prank for this guy are you oh, more happy now God. you got me sweating I was like, you were telling me oh I've got some concerns question of the day do you think that is acceptable that we have to do this and another question that I have do you trust Segway in my case I don't trust anymore and this will be the first and the last product that I'll have from them before you go don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you don't have subscribed until now share this video with your family and friends comment below smash the thumbs up and like I said in all my videos you already know the answer I see you in the next one